Facing arthritis can be terrifying. It's the person in the middle of the night that is alone and frightened. They're so brave and they need a helping hand. Nurses are that helping hand. And I've watched the, I've watched the room grow. We, we opened this room in 1994, way before the age of biologics, way before we really had an opportunity to provide hope and to provide like life. Meet Bridget, diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis at age 19, infusion therapy patient, loves her nurses. What is the role of the nurses in all of this? Yeah. Or is it nurses? It's Are nurses. they the ones who are there? Oh yeah. That's what it's, they're called. It's the nurses. It's, yeah. it's their show. Indeed. It is. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you, know, you come in and they know your name, they know your weight, they know your height, they, they know everything. <laughs> They remember, oh, how was that wedding you went to six months ago? Do you have pictures from the trip you went to? They're <clears throat> caring. They're definitely all yeah. maternal in some sense. It, it's not like you're sitting there and you're going to be left alone in a chair for eight hours. Aside from the constant monitoring, which goes with the territory, there's also the, the talking, the schmoozing that goes on with the people who are there. I think there's just that con concern, compassion, and general interest when you're spending that much time with somebody. Probably each nurse has a, at most two or three people. Throughout all the times I've had infusion therapy, I don't think I've ever seen one of them not going from patient to patient to really? patient and engaging them in conversation and finding out how their family is doing and finding out you know, oh, you were here X amount of time ago. How was that party you were going to? How was the wedding you had last weekend? Tell me about, where are your pictures? How come you didn't bring the picture, you know? I've been fortunate that I've ended up in very warm environments in that sense. Everybody seems to really care, not only about you as a patient, but also you as a person. There's that sense of security that you get from being treated by the same people who you know and you trust. So do people have favorite nurses? I won't admit to it. <laughs> no, but I think I've never been disappointed knowing that somebody is on call where I've been treated. They've really found people that professionally, number one, and personally, they really know how to make you feel comfortable while really doing their job. You spend so many hours in a room with these people who are not only, you know, talking to you about your health, which is so personal to begin with, but then you're, you know, shooting the breeze, talking about life, you know? Mm -hmm. So in between double checking, oh, you're going at this level, we have to move you down to, you know, this many units per hour, move you up to this many units per hour, there's a conversation. And there's a relationship that you build, and that's nice. And I don't, I don't know that that's everywhere, but I would hope that that's everywhere. From Bridget and all 25,000 of us at creakyjoints.org to the wonderful nurses who have restored our lives and been our helping hand. Thank you. It's like a very small living room for yourself. You can, so you can plug in what you need, you can eat. People get manicures, pedicures. No, but that's a Hair great line. idea. Is it? Yeah. Bring it. I think so. Yeah. Jesus Offer pedicures. Jesus all over the country. Brilliant. Brilliant. What about massage? Oh, absolutely. Do they do it now? No, not, no, I've never had it, but that's brilliant. Yeah. I love it. Keep them coming. After you leave, what do you think the nurses say about you? Oh, at least we have six more months. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're like, gosh, she talks a lot <laughs> on the phone. Yeah. Right. But quietly. <laughs> that's it. Right. Right. Yeah.